Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create this image right here. It's a cube with uh, a brick texture and bump map on it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that and I'm going to select my cube. I'm just going to click R so I can make it bigger and W to bring it up above the grid. Next you're going to right click, go down to assign new material and I'm just going to choose Lambert for my own personal preference. And then right here you're going to see this little color uh, section and you're going to want to click on this checkered box. After clicking that you're going to get this little pop-up menu about uh, creating render nodes. Um, it's the same one that our Lambert was on originally but this time we're going to be able to select file and it's going to go to another subsection and we're going to want to click on this folder right next to image name and it's going to bring this up to whatever your set project is and I already have uh, an image selected that I want to use on my cube so I'm going to click open and as you can see it places it all over our cube and that's that is uh, creating texture on an object now if you want to add bump which is basically going to give depth or um, makes it seem like a an actual object that you can touch and feel that you're going to go back to the object itself click on it and you're going to see a bump mapping you're going to want to click on this little cube with the arrow showing you want to go deeper into that sub menu and then it's going to once again have an image name you want to click on the folder and just click on your um, already pre-selected image and it's going to create that bump map on it which in my opinion is actually texture, but I don't know, Maya says it's bump. So, it's just a quick tutorial on how to do that. Hope it helps you guys out.